To add a new restriction enzyme to the list of available enzymes in SeqBuilder, first go to Enzymes, New Enzyme. This opens the Enzyme Manager. Here, you can type in the name of your enzyme. In this example, I'm going to use RIG1, and then the recognition sequence. And if your cut site is precise, you can use these arrows to specify the top strand and bottom strand cut sites. Otherwise, select random or unknown from the class menu. You also have the option to specify isoschismers, vendors, cost, and whether the enzyme is on hand or procurable. Now, for this example, RIG1 is actually an isoschismer of FSC1, which you can see is already in the enzyme list. But just for the sake of this example, I'm going to add RIG1 as a new enzyme. But I'll specify FSC1 as an isoschismer. Then click OK. And now your enzyme will be added to the list of enzymes in the Seek Builder curtain. So we can drill down through this alphabetical list to locate the enzyme and apply it. And I'm going to switch to the minimap so we can see where the enzyme cut site is. Now you notice that this particular enzyme cuts on my sequence once. So I could also use an enzyme selector to look for enzymes with unique cut sites. And we'll see that my enzyme RIG1 gets applied that way as well. Finally, if you want to add enzymes from another enzyme file, go to Enzymes, Enzyme Manager to open the Enzyme Manager again, and then click the Merge button. And what this will do is add enzymes from another enzyme file to your enzyme catalog without deleting any of the custom enzyme data you've added. So for example, if you've edited the enzyme file in an older version of LaserGene but want to merge the enzyme data from a new release, you could navigate to the enzymes.ezd file in the LaserGene 10 program directory. If you have further questions about using restriction enzymes in SeqBuilder or any other questions about our software, please visit our website, dnastar.com, or contact us at support at dnastar.com.